Look who's on Raw! Little Miss Bliss! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss! Five feet of fury! I just don't understand why Alexa treats everyone like they're second-class citizens. Because she's better than them, Byron. When you're better than someone, it's perfectly acceptable to treat them poorly. Is that the morals you live by? Obviously, he works with you. Alexa Bliss is the type of woman that'll stab you in the back and you'll still ask her to autograph the handle. <laughs> Speak for yourself. The irresistible and force. And her partner from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. One of the most dominant women in WWE history. Physically unparalleled in the women's division, Nia Jax has imposed her will on everyone that stepped in the ring as opposition. An incredible pedigree for success for Nia Jax. Just feeling when Bailey comes to town, when Bailey competes, everybody's feeling hug life, except Corey. I think she just winked at you, Byron. I think so too. Hey, Bailey. It's boss time, and here comes Sasha and her partner. From Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Stephanie McMahon brought Charlotte, Becky Lynch, and Sasha Banks to WWE, and those three women changed the course of history as we know it today. Yeah, Sasha Banks has been a trailblazer. She has been at the forefront of that change. In fact, Sasha's career-long motto, be so good, they can't ignore you. You should get one of those uh, rings that say graves on it like Sasha has. I'll pass. Oh, this is not good at all. And she's back in the ring now. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. And a savage clothesline. Running knee. Uh-oh. Neck breaker. Oh, straight 
forearm. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing creates separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. She's in a bad way here, Byron. Don't count her out yet, Michael. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Nia Jax is the most powerful woman in WWE. And we've seen her dominate opponents without breaking a sweat. Guys, how do you prepare for the irresistible force? Nia Jax is one of the most dominant competitors from a physical perspective. And she has the right mindset. Nobody can compete with the irresistible. They're going to lock it in here. She somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. Talking some more about strategy against Nia Jax. Corey brought up that an opponent might have an advantage if they can get inside the head of the irresistible force. Do you agree, Byron? Well, I'm not a fan of trash talking, but Nia has proven to be thin-skinned against the likes of Alexa Bliss and Mickie James. But you do run the risk of angering the most imposing woman on the WWE roster. Stunner! Emphatically delivered! For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee okay. is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. We're looking at complete domination here. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE president. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Not today. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Back in from the apron. And no luck against Nia Jax there. And set him up using her knee. Here we go with Nia Jax. That's got to be it. Nia Jax all but has this match in the bag. That was simply amazing. Now, can Nia Jax make the most of this? When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the... Nia Jax, big move coming. Oh, man. That looks like it hurts. She got all of it there. Nia Jax makes a cover. Sasha Banks dodged out of the way there. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the... Early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. They call it Nia Jax the irresistible force, and she's proven that moniker true as she's overpowered the competition in NXT and WWE. Well, you ain't kidding, Cole. In both NXT and WWE, she'd tear through up-and-coming competitors in just a minute or two. 
She also turned in some dominating performances against the likes of Bailey, Sasha Banks, Alicia Fox, and Mickie James. The two of you were discussing Nia Jax being irresistible, and I have to agree. You know, I recently invited Nia to my mother's house and offered to make her some apple pie. And technically, she didn't say no. That's not what they mean by irresistible Saxton as the irresistible force of WWE. Here comes Alexa Bliss. Insult to injury. She's in complete control here, guys. But now, can Alexa Bliss capitalize? Oh, elbow. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's going to be feeling that one for a while. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, up here comes Sasha Banks. She's not going to go quietly. Oh, uh, yes, it's Sasha Banks. This could be. I think this is the beginning of the end. Will she win it here? She's definitely energized, but she better make sure she saves something for later. And Sasha Banks pops the shoulder up. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Bankrupt. That's all she wrote, fellas. Uh-oh, Sasha Banks is looking at it. Now, she just needs to finish her off. Banks needs to capitalize on this opportunity now. They did it! They won the match! I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. Let's not overcomplicate things. This business is simple. It's all about wins and losses. And it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match.